Yo, we are back with another video. So glad that you all are here. Today we're going to talk about filters. We're going to talk about filters for your camera if you are a videographer or if you're a photographer like me uh, dealing in landscape. And a lot of the times you can use these filters, whether you're doing photography or videography, depending on what you're looking for. Okay, so let me start out by saying this is not a sponsored video. I purchased all of these filters with my own personal money so I could try them. I loved what they looked like. I needed some filters anyway that were going to last me a long time. So that is the only reason why I have this. But this is also, quote unquote, a five month review at this point because I've had them for five, maybe six months. And I have gone to multiple places with them. I've traveled to New York with them, uh, Death Valley National Park with them. I've gone to California. I've gone to many places with these filters, and I have to say that they're absolutely amazing. So let's get started. What I have with me today are the CP filter, the ND64 filter, and the ND1000. This is 10 stops of light, the ND1000. This is eight stops of light, the ND64. And the CP is a circular polarizer. Now, the circular polarizer does a pretty interesting thing. Simply speaking, it removes all of the glare from windows and from water that you may get so you can get really pristine looks and you won't have so much reflection when it comes to light in your photos and circular polarizers boost color. So generally speaking, I have this on the front of my lens whenever I'm taking landscape photos. This is a must have for anybody. Now, I will say that these lenses not only are amazing, but the build quality is great. Okay, so they have these metal casings that are made out of what seems to be metal. It feels like metal. The construction is really nice. So you have these covers that have an F to let you know that this is the front of it. And then you have the covers that have an R to let you know that this is the rear and you and they're magnetic so you can put them back on and you simply twist them so just to show you this is what you're looking at hopefully that can focus yeah right here so you grab the sides you twist and then if you want to put it back it magnetizes and then you just twist it back it's just that simple like is super simple and all of the filters work that way every single one of them now let me show you how to apply it on there okay all of the filters come with the base plate now the more lenses you have the more base plates you'll need because you don't want to have to keep taking off these base plates these base plates operate as normal and ordinary filters okay so you simply take your camera in this case this is my Canon R8 with a 14 to 35 f4 on it and you take this base plate and you simply twist it on now you want to take your time while you're twisting because you don't want to cross thread the lenses or the filters while you're trying to screw it on your lens so you want to take your time to make sure you're not cross threading anything and it takes a little bit because these threads are really really fine but once you find it it twists on just fine and once you tighten it on there you're good now whenever you're taking a photo of course this base plate is not in the way now let me show you the magic of it all so let's just take my CP filter for example okay you can take the back cover off it simply comes off really easy leave the front cover on now you take it let me show you you magnetizes it and then you twist that's it. That's all there is. You're done. Now you have your filter on there. Okay. And normally this front cover 
that was used as a protection for the filter is not only still used as a protection for the filter, but now you have a cover for your lens and your filter. So it becomes your protection, right? And then you can just simply take this, twist it off, and now you can use your camera in order to take photos. So it works out really, really well. It's such a great system, it's robust. Um, let me show you this. Whenever you take this top filter off, here's the best part. This is a CP filter, for example. Let's just say you want the CP filter on there and you want the ND filter as well because you want eight stops of light. Well, you can take off the rear plate from your ND8 and you can take it and then you can stack it on top of the ND64 and then simply remove this front filter and now you have stacked filters for extra effect. Now I get my boost of color and I get my eight stops of light. So you can stack as many as you want. Now I don't know why you would want to stack more than two to three filters at a time or just simply two filters at a time. However, you can stack them. Now, I will say that these filters don't have any threads on the outside of them. So once you buy this ecosystem or once you invest in this ecosystem, this is your ecosystem. So you can't take like a, a ordinary filter that has threads and thread it on top of here. You can't do that. However, you can simply stack the filters or keep stacking them however many you want. And this is an amazing system. Now, the cool part about this system, something that I love, is that normally speaking, we would have cases for our filters, like protective cases. Well, these already come built in. Like, the cases are already here. You can throw them around, put them inside of your camera bag, and... They won't get scratched up, so you don't necessarily need a case. You can just put them inside of pockets, or you can put them in their own little section inside of your camera bag, and you don't have to worry about any problems anymore. Now, now look, I'm disassembling it, but look how easy it is to simply take apart, right? Look, just, that's it. There is no... Th there is no process of just threading, 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 and then having to thread another one on. No, you just magnetize it and take it off. And, see, look at this one. See? Cool. Now watch this. Let it focus. Those little tabs right there, those little tabs, you take it. How cool is that, right? That is absolutely amazing. Now, here is the, what I would call a con to all of it. This is the con. This is the, what I would say is the bad part. They are, are, they are very expensive. They are extremely expensive. They really are. They're super expensive. Um, one filter is $200. Now here, as you can see, I have six. So clearly I spent a nice piece of change getting filters. However, the only reason why I did was because I wanted an ecosystem that is going to last me a long time. I wanted quality filters. I didn't want a whole lot of vignetting around the edges of the frame. I didn't want any of that. I just wanted some nice quality filters that I could use, that I could travel with, that were going to last me years. And these are going to last me a very long time. I can use these for the next couple of years. Um, and I plan on buying more. I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, they do get more expensive the more functionality that comes with them. Like, for example, like these ordinary filters, CP filters, or just ND filters, they're like $200. However, if you were to get a variable ND filter, two to five for videography purposes, that filter is $300. But it's a variable ND filter. Unlike these filters, which are just... Which are just Const, which is just a constant uh, eight or ten stops of light, you're looking at two, four, six, eight stops of light being able to change it at any point you want. So it's doing a lot more. The, the filter is doing a lot. So otherwise, these filters are absolutely amazing. And I say the price is the only con. However, the price is well worth it whenever we're having a conversation about quality.
if you're gonna buy filters, buy quality filters. Because I've been in the situation where you buy cheap filters, have to thread them on, and you're at a location and then you wanna thread a different filter on. By the time you get done threading filters on and off, you would have been done missed your shot. But also, those cheaper filters don't always provide the best quality of photo that you would want in your landscape photography or wedding photography or any type of photography or videography you're doing. But these filters are absolutely amazing. I've had them for six months now. I would say go out there and invest in them. It'll be well worth your money. Also, also, here's another thing that I didn't tell you. Cool piece. After you get done threading this base plate on, you also come, it also comes with the protective cap for your actual lens itself. So you only have to take this. Do you hear that? That's the magnet. Let me let me let you hear it again. You hear that? And then you just twist. Now, cool part, it they don't come off. Let me show you the scientific shake test. That's the sign that like it does. They don't come off. It snaps in place. It's the same way with the actual filters themselves. The scientific shape test, they will not come off. Once they're on, they're snapped in place. Polar Pro did an amazing job. The engineering behind, coming from a mechanical engineer, aka me, Polar Pro did an amazing job with these. I would recommend buying them. I plan on buying some more. I want to say I have two to three more to get, maybe even four, but... If you're going to get one, this is the one to have. So, that's my review for the day. Let me know what you think. I'm going to leave the Polar Pros link down below if you're interested in it. You may not be. But, let me know what filters you use. Let me know your thoughts. Leave some comments down below. Like, subscribe. I love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace. We out.